Kevin Johnson, a second generation plumber of CHS Plumbing out of Phoenix, Arizona, is not just a plumber. He plays for the USA senior basketball team representing the country all around the world. I'm Craig Morgan. This is American Plumber Stories. Some days I'm working before the sun kisses the sky. I watch the world wake up from the seat of my truck. I'm out here earning my piece of the pie. A good, honest buck. No, it ain't. My father was a plumbing contractor. They specialized in uh, residential plumbing for the most part, some small commercial. I got started in the plumbing trade because my father thought that it would be a great idea for my brother and I to start digging trenches for him around 14 years old. And that's what we did for about a year and a half, two years, is we dug trenches. We didn't do any more than dig the ditches and then move to the next house. I completed my four-year apprenticeship as I turned 18. Struggled through high school, did not do very well, had trouble trying to figure out how to learn and what to learn and what was really going to be of value to me later after I got out of high school. Had the ability to go and, and become a journeyman plumber at that point, but I chose to go to college for one year, went that route for that first year. My name is Kevin Johnson. I'm the owner and president of CHS Plumbing, and we're based in Phoenix, Arizona. At 22, I was working again full-time for my dad's company. As I grew a little bit older, I started thinking, you know, I, I could probably do my own thing. And by age 28, I had made that decision that I was going to go and do my own thing. My wife and I made the jump one day and started our own business, and I've never looked back. CHS Today is a company that focuses on commercial high-rise apartments, senior care, and student housing. We are located in Phoenix as well as Denver. We have two offices and we're probably one of the top five in both markets in that type of construction. We average about 6,000 units a year combined that we build. Pretty steady markets for that to continue. Kevin, as a second generation plumber, continues this family tradition by mentoring his third and fourth generation plumbers. My nephew, Brian, is the actual general manager for Phoenix. He has two sons that actually work for the company as well. Kevin is my uncle. He's my father's brother. We have a great relationship. We laugh a lot. We joke a lot. And it's just, uh, it's fun. In a lot of ways, I, I could see myself in Brian, you know, when I was that age, too. I might have uh, veered off the path a little bit, you know, trying to go and figure out if college was going to be the right thing, where Brian kind of had more direction and, and knew what he wanted and went right for it. School wasn't for me, and I was a hands-on type of person, so I liked working with my hands. I liked working outdoors. I gave it a shot out of high school, and I couldn't imagine doing anything else. I've been doing this for more than half my life now, and I love it. I love being outdoors. I love seeing these projects that are so big that last two years, watching them from start to finish and seeing the final product. Yeah, I have two sons now that both work for our company. They're both showing an interest in plumbing as well. And it's exciting to be able to mentor them like I was mentored by other family members as well. Woo! Now that I've taken care of business, I just want to let you know, I'm an American plumber. Oh, the hobbies that I have or things I like to do the most. I play basketball three days a week, 5 a.m. in the morning for a couple hours and it's uh, with a group that's much younger than myself but what that does for me it, it provides therapy for a distraction from work 
as well as it keeps me in great shape. You know, I never thought as a 14-year-old I'd be playing because I was a small 14-year-old, you know, about 100 pounds, 5 foot 6, and even graduated from high school at 5 foot 8, so I had no plans to play basketball in any level at that point in time. I'm now 6 foot 4, played a few summers on the D-League for the Denver Nuggets. I've been able to, been fortunate enough to play for the USA basketball team 60 years and over and we've been able to travel throughout the world had a very successful five years playing for the USA team. Representing the US on this team has been a real special experience for all of the team. We're proud to represent the country and every time we've won that gold medal which is six times we were able to uh, hear the, the national anthem and listen to other countries just giving us their standing ovations for our success and, and all we accomplished. My name is Caleb Mullins. I went to high school in Mesa, Arizona at Mountain View High School. I'm 19. When I started school, I always knew it wasn't my thing. So I went to school, I never really liked it, and sophomore year I figured out I was very mechanical. So I started doing plumbing and that's what I wanted to do. Caleb Mullins is a great example of why we're doing this show. Getting into plumbing at 18 years old right out of high school. So my uncle was always a plumber. I grew up seeing him plumbing, and I just always knew that it was my job to be a mechanical person. So I did auto, I've done welding, I've done all sorts of different trades. And when I got to plumbing, I just knew that was my trade. So junior year, I went to East Valley Institute of Technology. I went through a two-year trade in plumbing. Right now, I'm classed as an apprentice plumber. Normally, apprentices last for three to four years, but since I've done a trade school for two years, that knocks about two years off that. I'm on the fast track to a great career. I don't have to go to four years of college and rack up thousands of dollars in debt. I want to work for this company for a long time, get enough money, and eventually start my own company. I mean, what we need to do now is change the perception of what a plumber is. Their value is undisputed. The reality is we need to change people's ideas of what a, a career for a plumber could be. So there were only about four seniors in my plumbing group, which is a shocking number, even though there were like a thousand kids at my high school graduation. I don't think most kids know about it. We as parents have told our children that the only success can be through college when in reality the trades could be another one without having to have that debt which is astronomical in our society today. I learned on the job. I spent a good portion of my career, the first half of my career in the field, hands-on learning. This trade has lots of older people in the older generation and uh, I would advise them when they get into the trade to latch on to one of those older people that have been in the trade for a long time and ask lots of questions and have them mentor. Super exciting to see these young guys getting into the trade and showing an excitement for the trade. I, I want to be able now as an older plumber to be able to pass on what I know and my knowledge to these young guys. These are the days you want to be out on a construction job site. It brings back memories of my many early years where you're part of a team on site creating a product of quality and allows you to uh, feel that camaraderie that comes through working together with a lot of people doing something that's really fantastic. I miss those days and I'm glad to be part of that today here out on this site. All in all, this is the place to be where you can be part of a team creating something of value and quality that will last a lifetime. The advice I would give to an 18-year-old who had any interest in the plumbing industry today is your opportunities are endless, whether it be in the technology side of plumbing or in management. We're looking for quality people who not only know the plumbing skills that are needed, but uh, how do they can interact and become a, a quality manager who can handle large groups of, of plumbers on a crew, as well as within the company itself. I'm Kevin Johnson, and I'm an American plumber. Hey, this is Diego Lujan with Alphalete Plumbing. Thanks for watching this episode of American Plumber Stories. Be sure to hit the red subscribe button, and don't forget to follow us on Instagram.